Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. Today, I got you for you the Hollow Frost mod. The Hollow Knight Wallow, Fr Wallow Frost mod. Guys, today we are going to play some Wallow Frost. You ready for some Wallow Frost? I'm ready for some Wallow Frost. So, something neat I uh, learned here is that... Uh, yeah, apparently there's a lot more like leaders type leader types than I thought. We have Quirrell Acolyte here. Add Mon Mon Monomon's teaching to your hand. Trigger when redraw bell is hit. Count up turn counter by one. Increase attack by one. Noomlin consume. Uh, <laughs> I mean this user unit has a lot of. This unit doesn't look great, but we have played the other two before, so I think we're going to play Quirrell Acolyte, and we're going to see if we can get use out of this. Of course, we're going to be playing Little Fool, because we're doing this mod, and I generally think Little Fool might be the best out of, might be the best out of all the, the best pet in the game. Okay, how... How are we gonna do this? Definitely gonna start off with a void soul. I'm just gonna be God. You know the nice. It's actually I actually really am am happy. I'm really happy that we're doing modded content because it means like I'm not doing video. I'm not doing runs that involve that involve like i'm only doing runs that involve modded characters so if i get the naked gnome at the start i can just kill it with with no guilt on my conscience and that is true oh. god damn it my ugh, my messing up the combos well that's us that smack back winter worm is really annoying Oh wait, no, I did get a double kill there. Never mind. What I did here today did get us a double kill. So I should Oops. <laughs> so I should think about trying to get a Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus, the smackback winter worm is like eating me alive honestly I think this is worth it using attack on winter worm to stop it to stop it from attacking or using monomo's teaching on winter worm oh my ah <laughs> god damn it son of a bitch ugh no, I, I, what keeps happening here is that the void. I'm pretty sure what's happening here is that the void mass is hitting our quirrel, and then it gives quirrel enough to get the kill when he shouldn't have enough. It's 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 messing everything up. It happened twice in this fight. Well, that's rare. That having two deaths in your, well, having you were not usually supposed to have it have these kinds of deaths. But honestly, counting up enemies with new with a Numlin effect can actually be pretty nice. I think I'm gonna take double frozen travelers here. I think I will click molten dip. Molten dip is very ver very versatile card. Mega mimic is also really versatile, but less as a thing that supports your overarching strategy. It's very supplemental, so I'm gonna click molten dip here. It allows us to pick up a lot of different things. Oh, damn, we can play Zote today. We can play Zote today. I'm super down. I'm super down to try to try this Zote unit. This is going to get this unit's going to be interesting. Frontline, two turn counter, six attack. But how do you keep it alive? And where are my unique picks here? I guess I'm picking Colonel. Well, I guess I could kick. Nah, I'm picking Colonel. I could pick Nova, but like I, we're playing this to do Hollow to do to, to 
do shenanigans in the Hollow Knight Labyrinth. I did this incorrectly. I was supposed to lead off with Ismus here. Yeah. Now this Uba Bear is gonna rip me apart. And now the Shroom Gobbler is gonna scale it like crazy. What? Why did I not get a Monomon's, te uh, Monomon's teaching here? I need to... Oh god, I can't even play the... um. God, I'm getting owned here. I should try to get at units. We're not gonna make much money this fight. Thankfully, with Colonel, it's kinda hard for me to die. So we'll just, we're, we're hoping for the best here. But yeah, it's not look, it's not looking fantastic. God damn it, the Void Masks has been, the Void Masks have been really bad this, this run. But we are able to get at Zote the Mighty. So maybe all our, maybe our problems are about to go away. God, Zote attacks, has to attack first here. That's so weird. Because that's frontline. I'm still... I'm still rather skeptical on whether or not the Zote unit can be good. <laughs> at, at 1 HP, um... It's definitely strange. The idea that does seem that you're tr you need to try to use, like, void items. I think I might hit Bumbo with the, um... No, I will just go for a double kill here. We're definitely gonna be really poor. I've not been thinking about my money enough. Can't use this on items. I could use this on Zote when... Oh, wait, it increases his turn counter in general. That's... It, it's like, it works like... It doesn't just count down its, its turn counter. It increases its, like, max turn counter. That's weird. I think I actually recall Zote here because I want to get a kill with... Li I want to try getting a kill with Little Fool. Alright, no kill for... Little Fool does not get a kill here. We can play Void Mask here. We can still, like, pretty easily set up for... For Little Fool to get a kill here. And we can get, like, a double kill at the same time. Um, I guess I just redraw again. Not much looks like it's happening. I would like a Monomon's teaching to increase. So yeah, this is count up. This is it's it's so interesting because it's max turn counter. Wait, then the text on the Monomon's teaching is not right. It says count up turn counter. How, what's the text on? What's the text on, um... Hold up, let me get rid of that sound effect. What is the text on... On Sun Cream? Where is it? Reduce turn counter by, by one. And then, like, the... What's the text on, like, a Sun Rod? Countdown. So, no, it should not be countdown. When hit, apply two shell to allies in a row. Eh. I mean, God Tuner was just like a really good card, but here it doesn't look as good. I guess I can take a boulder shell. Although, actually, I think this sunlight drum might be what I want to click here. With Zote. I think it could be pretty decent. You get Zote at one turn counter, and then you trigger Zote twice. Mask Maker Cornifer. Mask Maker, I'm not super feeling. Somebody can point mentioned an interesting thing you could do with Mask Maker is that you could use like Void Mask to Ink Mask Maker that would allow you to to re to recall, get rid of Mask Maker's hot head, hog headed and recall him, which would allow you to replay Mask Maker to get another blank mask. That seems. Kind of interesting, but not that 
strong in my opinion. I'm gonna click corner for here. We'll take Colonel off the squad. It's we're not looking too strong here. Deal one additional damage to damage targets soul. With vengeful spirit. I mean like this is just like a worse channel mail. It's just a cha it's, it's a worse effect for ch Oh wait, but it's when draw no yeah. I mean maybe you could use that with like other effects that boost. I don't think it's that good. Do I am I willing to let my money go down low to to get a charm here? I think I am. With this, we I, I think we just want to roll for like durian charm today. I will just slam this on my leader. This should be quite helpful and I really don't think I have any- with the Tiger Charm, I don't think I have much fear of dying. Especially against this fight that has a bunch of small little hits that I can easily just scale up my- Yeah, we'll just roll the dip here at the start. All Ismus here, the Winter Worm. Sets up the Winter Worm to die to Little Fool, which I think I definitely should take. You know, we're not so lucky. Which, I think, in which case, I think I'm just gonna kill the Winter Worm myself. Getting rid of that enemy seems pretty okay to me. It does also get you a multi-kill here. There. Uh, so I'm not able to, you're not able to play up Zote here. I'm willing to count up your turn counter, Gobbler. I could play Cornifer here if I wanted to draw a card. Although then that's like putting Cornifer in like range to easily die. This is generally just with the snowbows, double snowbows in each lane. Literally it doesn't look like a very good fight for Zote. I should try to set up maybe the gobbler to die. And then I can play corner for in one of these lanes. Ah, uh, wait. Snowbow, don't fuck this for me. Thank you. Okay. Uh... Okay, I didn't really want to do this, but I need to do something. I need to snow cake that gobbler. This fight's looking really scary now. I need to get down Zote the Mighty. We need to start... We need to start chunking. We really need to start chunking down Bamboozle. Right, draw me my cards. Ah, oh, no, little fool! Crap. <laughs> I really want it little... Damn, I really want it little fool to kill a back... To kill a unit in the back. Looks like you just get out a uh, void mask here. It's fine. I suppose it's okay. Not really, not really what I'm looking for, though. Oh, no. How do I not, how does Zote not die here? Okay, I do have Monomon's teaching. I honestly wish I could use on a Boozle and I could use on... No, that does, it doesn't look... The play I have in mind doesn't look super viable. Oh, no. How does... How does my note Zote not get f fucking obliterated? <laughs> this is a great question. This is a fucking wonderful question. I guess I should. I guess I should, um. Hail or you, and then I can take the two hits in the neck. I guess this is fine. With Zote, I think we're just like trying, praying, praying to Jesus that we can find a, oh my god, I could really die here. Oh lord. We are not very strong, like, at all. 
I might just need to try, like, getting out of this fight as quickly as I can. Anyone I want a Monomon's teaching here? A Monomon's teaching... Bam. Let's count up... Let's count up Bamster encounter. And then I think I might Ismus tier Boozle, or I... It's probably better for me to just redraw this hand. It triggers... Whirl. Yeah, I probably should just do it like this. God damn. I never able to get anything. Shade Soul, Shade, Shade Soul has not been hitting like any good targets this run. I could do something like this, and this is a lot of value. Yeah, this looks. This looks really good, actually. I have Pale Ore for a Boozle. Yeah, I should take this. You got Pale Ore, and you're getting a big multi kill. Looks good to me. And, oh, do not let Zote die. God, I. This Zote unit, man. Oh my god. I don't. This remi this unit is reminding me of Absol. Is like a. Is giving me flashbacks to Absol in the Poke, in the Poke Frost mod. Just like a strong two turn counter unit with a, like a horrific effect. That's meant to balance it out. Let's just pray you see Durian Charm. Durian Charm, and then we take off. Uh, Cake. What can I do with Cake Charm in this run? Definitely taking this. And my monkey mind. Count down a turn counter. Count, count, I can count trigger an enemy of. Ah. What items have we? Can we see that's like good? Low vengeful spirit is not very good. Mmm. Hi. I don't see a lot of. Oh, I don't see a lot of good here. I might just. I think I just take leader. I, Battle charm feels sad to pass up on, but Sun Bell of Health is gonna really help with like this when on hit with having a bulky leader with a with Tiger Charm is gonna really help in this mid game. So I'm gonna click Sun Bell of Health. It's also just good threat the whole run. Okay, we want to take... Oh, wait, uh, maybe I need to take... Maybe I should have taken the Frozen Traveler to see something other than the Zote unit. Um... <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not able to click... I can't click Gnome Charm here. Is Gnome Charm honestly worth... What if Gnome Charm is worth... Is worth, like, clicking here? What it? What if it is? It's worth. What if it's worth like skipping out on a crown here? Let me. Who are we fighting? We're fighting spice mocos. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, man. This one seems rough. Am I recording? I need to be paranoid and check. Oh no, my, uh, okay, please even out. Okay, it's evening out. I liked it. Okay, yes, we, we are recording. We are recording. Uh, it's a really tough choice. Gnome Charm is, seems super strong on Zote. Again, I this run, I'm just praying to find Durian Charm. I really am just praying to find it. If I take this, I'm not able to buy a crown. Unless maybe you get like really, really unfortunate. We got a super low roll on the bling, on the bling snail cave. It might, this might be worth it. I really think this might be worth it. This is a potentially game winning, winning charm. Maybe we get lucky in the... No, we definitely don't. Uh, goodbye, crown. 
Goodbye, buddy. I, I think I need this. Oh! Let's go! You ask and you shall receive. <laughs> buddy! You ask and you shall receive. Look at the zoat, man. This Ron fucking doing a goddamn 180. Oh. God. Oh, no. I... Please let me equip this. Oh, my God. I forgot that it's bu that it's buggy. I, I, I tossed out on the crown. Let me equip this. I forgot that it's, like, fucking Gnome Charm is buggy with modding. God, I'm actually I'm actually gonna like try to restart to see if I can get this to work. Please God, please God. Okay, it, maybe it's like one of the mods I have installed that's like fucking this up. Okay, let me try to fix this. All right, I'm back, baby. We got it working. Uh, my me passing out on. So me passing out up on a charm was not or me passing up on a crown is rewarded because we got this fucking beast of a beast of Zot. we Zot the mighty has unlocked his true potential also uh it seems like turning off some mods have like messed up the paint or like the 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 um what's it the rainbow blood Looks like it has messed that up, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I think I'm going to hold on to this crown. God, Sunlight Drum is going to be huge in this run. Oh, Zot, we have unlocked Zot the Mighty's true potential. We just had to, cut, we just had to, like, cut off his legs. Until he... Would cut off his. Does that make sense? Would Durian Charm be like cu cutting up? We we had to we had to we had to like mind control Zote. We had to mind control him to make him to stop be being the warrior that he claims to be. This is incredible. This this run is incredible. I'm so excited to be playing this. We're, Zote, it, like, is the, the classic, the, the joke character of, of his games. He's meant to just be this bumbling old man that just fucking walks around and get his, and gets, like, destroyed by everything. But not today. Today is different. Today, things change. You know, I could, like, just ruin this Makoko if I give it a Monomon's teaching. What the fuck? A red turn- red two turn counter? What the hell? That's not right. That's not right. And yeah, now you have a red three turn- a red three turn counter. This Monomon's effect, being able to, like, permanently count up, like, an enemy's turn counter does seem quite interesting. Definitely good that it's on a Numelin effect. If this effect wasn't Numelin, I feel like it would be really bad. Let me make sure I did unpause my recording. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, whoa. Explode for focus. Crystal Heart. Ugh, Mimic seems really good here. Not into this fight, but in general, it just seems like a pretty good choice. Is with this fucking Giga attacking Zot, definitely seems like a good option. Well, this crystal heart does seem interesting, and I honestly feel like I might want to click this crystal heart to have an option in this next fight. So we're going to click crystal heart here. I think it is also just a cooler option. The cooler option. I'm going to take this top half. I want a removal. Pepper Reaper, you can't play with your... None of these are good. Pepper Reaper is... You is not able to be played on Zoat due to Zoat being still. We we were able to mind program Zoat, but we weren't. We were not able to uh remove his remove his old fragile man bones. 
He's still old, fragile, with old man bones, unfortunately. But here we got a really good spawn. We, th yeah, n this fight, this fight is easy. We act because we want, we one shot the, um, we one shot the pawpaws in this fight, so it really shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, check, check that out. One shutting the pawpaws means this fight is very easy. Because we just go bam, bam. I can't believe, I can't believe. No, no, I know what this zone is. This is the dream version of Zote. That's what this is. This is the dream version of Zote you fight when you, like, use the dream mail on... What is it? Like, what's the character's name? Um, I know we've seen them. Where, which, which character? It, we've clicked them before. Oh, it's fucking wait, I wanna see this guy. It's the uh what, what, guy. No, the, the guy, the sly. It's it's Mr. Pakawatia. That guy. Anyway, who the fuck am I looking for again? Uh they're here somewhere. Ah yeah, Breda. It's like it's the version of Zote you fight when you like use the dream mail and like I think it's like Breda's diary, if I remember. I haven't played gotten into that played got into that point in Hollow Knight in a while, or played that part of Hollow Knight in a while. But I think that's, I think that's the context of what happened of the fight against that guy. Uh, I definitely want to just target down this lane because we want to kill this Papa as soon as we can. Fight Papa has been dealt with. I took this crystal heart, but we're never gonna see it activate because units are never gonna oh wait actually can i if i count up your turn counter little fool am i able to get a kill with you i am a little bit of a little bit of money optimization there getting a kill with a little fool <laughs> What it, would it it would be a great Easter egg if like when you put Durian Charm on Zote, it he turned into like the dream version of Zote. The big buff version of Zote. That'd be like it, it'd be a cool Easter egg. Snowball charm? Definitely a good choice on Zote. We never have to fear about The only thing we have to fear about beyond this point, if I wanna put if I wanna put Snowball Charm on Zote. The only thing we have to fear is, um, is Teeth Charm. Although, I... Barrage is pretty good. You know, like, 16 damage to Barrage, it's like, it's pretty good. Like, you know, sometimes you gain Frenzy on kill. Man. I want to put all this shit on Zote. I want to put all this shit on him. I think I might hold on to the Snow Charm. And I, I probably should replace Little Fool with Colonel. Just have a bigger, a big HP body on the board. Alright, let us continue. This Crunker should not be anything. I'm still holding on to this other Curse Cram because I'm not. Oh, my Barrage! <laughs> it's fine. My Barrage. Uh, what's not fine here is Crunker. Crunker's kind of messing me up. In fact, I'm getting messed up a little. Although, I can, I can do Snow Cake. Crunker. Oh, and I can Monomon's Teaching and stop the Spuncher from hitting me. Nice! Cool little, I didn't, cool. That was, that was, that was, very, that was pretty cool. I like that. Did not see that one coming. Did in fact not see that one coming. I would like to crystal heart this top lane maybe. Just sending that to explode is good in my eyes. 
You two are about to activate. You're about to activate. Oh wait, so Cornifer does activate too. Now, if Prunker Duck did just decide to nuke my entire board there, we could be in a bit. Oh, but wait, I can like count up Prunker. So we can really just make it so this unit never gets. God, counting up enemies is like really busted, actually. Like, I, I just hit Krunker one more time, and he pretty much just never gets to act for the rest of this fight. And that, unfortunately, is not going to happen here, because Void Mask, boing, 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 Void Mask, Blumow, haha. -ha. Oh, you know yeah, just, let, let's, leave, let's leave this fight. It's looking a little bit scary. What are we gonna see here? Void charm. Void three, increase an item's effect by one. Wait, they nerfed this. Why they nerf this so much? Thing sucks now. This is just Thing's terrible. <laughs> This used to be an increase by two, and it was cool. Now this is just increased by one? This thing sucks. This is just worse. This is just much worse Lumen Charm. What the hell? No, I don't think I'll be taking that. And that can, and it can only be played on items? Get that shit out of here, man. We got a pretty cruddy selection of, I guess I can take, I guess I can, maybe, I think I'm consuming here that I would want to play again. Not really, no, I'm just going to take Sunbell Strength. And that'll be that. I want to duplicate here. A second Snow Cake is not bad. I should just put the snowball charm on Quirrell. It's fine. What am I? Yeah, second snow cake is definitely good. I think I just like I like that over an, an item. What if I could get a second zote? <laughs> what if? What if like the game could just like be different and then I could yeah recording is gonna lag here a lot because I did tab out all right we're, we're back to normal it's fucking goddamn okay I just need to I just need a pale or pale or warthog and then this whole board dies looks good to me But I'm, I'm very happy I decided to equip this Tiger Charm. It's been it's been real nice. It has made things real real easy. Okay, I said I said that that like I guess I said that that item we saw earlier the like the the um the what was it like the item that. The charm that made that gave like something void the void keyword and but in exchange it increased the effects by only one. I guess it still can still be useful if you're doing like a what I imagine is supposed to be what you're supposed to traditionally do with Zot, where you have like a bunch of void effects. Oops, I fucked up. That I've meant to play Tram Pass. Oh no, I just fucking ruined my Zote. Oh my god, I incre- Oh, wait, what? Wait, uh, how the fuck does Mon Monomon's teaching work? You normally can't do- Can you normally like, count- No, you- I guess- I guess you can just count up above an enemy's like normal turn counter. I thought you couldn't do that. Because I, re I feel like I'm, the reason I think that is because there's an item like that similar in... Yeah, there's an item like that similar in... 
There's a similar item like Monomon's teaching that count that counts up turn counter. Similar it in the um in in Snowfall. And I I with that, if you used it on an enemy that was like if I used it on corner for who was at max turn counter of four, it would not increase his turn counter past that. Um this one does increase it past that past the max, which is quite interesting. I must say. Also, this razor is really scary. Oh, yeah, wow, this razor is kind of nuking me, man. It might just be a play where I try to just stall out against this. Or I try to stall out against this razor. Okay, technically I could do something really scary here, but I'm not. It, where it's like, uh, what I could do there was, was play Sunsung. Was, uh, I can decrease the damage. I, I need to play channel damage. Okay. <laughs> really scared. Oh, um, okay, there's still a way, I'm pretty sure I'm still alive here. If I redraw here, Quirrell is applying one snow, so I'd st I'm still alive here. Oh, I was getting a little too confident, though. But I should still technically be alive. Let's see. Oh my god, the Void Mask could have ruined me here. Oh, I... I did forget about the Void Mask. Okay, then I can Monomon's teaching you, and then we're fine. Okay, that was... Oof! Oof. That was... Oof. I, I, real, I feel like I really should have died for that. Oh, no. Oh, God. So, that, that would have been a very fitting end to a Zot run. Like, oh, I'm Zot the Mighty. I am the Mightiest War. Oh, wait. Is that a fucking Levin Knight... Uh, a seven attack nine like five frenzy five frenzy razor right there ah! i don't remember the exact numbers on the um on the on the razor there so i was just like i probably got the num the stats on that razor wrong but still so, okay you know what, game you're just gonna like come up here you're gonna you're gonna come up here and they're just gonna give me hook charm and yank charm. We gotta have a talk. We this, this means we we got beef apparently. I don't know we had beef. I'm gonna crown a, I'm gonna crown a snow cake. I don't know we had beef, but apparently we got beef. Oh wait a wait 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 wait. Uh. Oh, okay, if we see... <laughs> okay, if we see the, um, the companion bell here, I can do something really interesting, because I just know, we do it start off, we do have a way of cleansing Pingu Charm in this build. I didn't think, we have snow cakes, and then we could cleanse it. Unfortunately, my Zote, Zote is full up on charms. Oh, that would have been cool, though. I, I forgot about that. If we see Companion Bell here, I'll definitely do that, because that sounds cool. 100% I'm gonna do that kind of... I'm gonna do that kind of setup. Absolutely no way I wouldn't. God, this Void Mask is just fucking travesty. Just inking something random, it's getting really annoying. I don't have a real way of stopping Frost Guardian here, so I think I'm just gonna... Or stopping... I mean, maybe, maybe I should have just called in the enemies. I definitely don't call in the enemies on this wave. Because you could get, um... Because you could get Rock Hog here, and then you could be in a world of hurt. You definitely just, like... Oh, wait, I could still be in a world of hurt here, actually. Oh, no. Because... 
Quirrell is applying one snow. Okay, you're fine. I just, I just pale or the spike wall, and then you're okay. I'm Monomon's teaching the plum, and then I can sunlight from Zot. That takes out both of those guys. Bound to get down a crystal heart here. Can I call the enemies? I can. Yeah, I definitely can. Fucking kill the Grank. Grank, you do. Grank does not get to play the game here. Grank behind the Frost Guardian does not get to cook. Because Zoat is just gonna immediately kill it. <laughs> God damn it, my fucking Barrage unit is inked. <laughs> ah, he's Grank. It's, it's, it's over. He's gonna Grank me. <laughs> No. No, he is not gonna grant me. Oh, hey, good job. Uh, what's that? What's the card called again? Uh, what's that card called again? Uh, Chris, good job, Crystal Heart. Ooh, no Uba Bear on this wave. Sweet. Fortunately, my Zote is rather ineffective at actually hitting things here, so I will just, like, snow kick... Oh, I, I don't need to snow kick the drink. I can just old nail here to redraw. We're definitely trying to draw into our redraw cards. Or our... Or turn counter cards here. Okay, now we got this. Now we can walk away from this fight. Okay, Zote, take him away. Okay, well, you, you, give it, give, give him a bit. He's still quite old. He's still quite old and decrepit. Okay. Please kill him. Please kill him, Zote. Good job, Zote. All right, please give me companion belts so we can do a cool Pingu try and play here. Hey, sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Like, hey, I'm gonna click plus one card draw here. Yeah, let's, let's do this. So we will take the crown off of Colonel. We're gonna put pink. Although, in all honestly, I I feel not. Nah, okay, I was maybe thinking nightmare charm, but no, this pingu charm has to be better. And then we crown Ismus here. We have the Snow Cake Curse Crowned. Wait, no! no! <laughs> oh, god damn it! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, you know what I just realized? Oh. Uh, you know what I just realized? This doesn't work. This doesn't work because we got this fucking idiot Sunbell of Strength here that gives the Snow Cake one attack, which is enough to kill Zote. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna back to menu here so I can put the. So we can put. So we can put Nightmare Charm on Zoat. Oh my god. I had such a cool idea, man. Ugh. Sunbell Strength has to come in here and be a fucking asshole. <sighs> fucking curses. I never, never click Sunbell of Strength. That's my advice to you. Never click this god off this god awful bell. You will regret it. It just ruins so much, so many things. If you want to have fun, don't click the stupid ass bell. Alright, freeze you. Oh, this could be scary here. I should be fine though. We are getting a lot on kill. Okay, I actually am. Oh, good. Or good void mask here. Void mask will not be fucking me up here. I'm very happy to have this on this effect. Actually, I'll play like Pearl in the front.
on here. I'll play Crow here just to draw a couple more cards. Uh, maybe I have to be playing this fight. Maybe I have to be... I can't use this on you. I cannot. There's a tiny little text on this guy. On my portal. Oh, you look at your little guy. He's your little bug. He's a little fucking bug. With his little tiny text. Ooh, Monomon's teaching here can be really good for Frost Bomber, I think. Okay. We definitely should just Tram Pass here. That's killing these guys. I should then Sunlight Drum. That kills more guys. I draw a card. I'm killing Frost Jailer here. So I can do some nice stuff here with... Uh, something nice here with... I can redry here to stop Frost Jailer from attacking me. And then I can... This is probably safe to hit Frost Muncher with this. And then... Then I'm gonna... I'm just gonna take my screenshot now. We're gonna get more Frenzy on this Zote. But this screenshot's fine. Yeah, I'm very safe to just redraw here. Quirrell freezes. Damn, putting. Oh, oh, crap. I forgot about the ink. That that complicates things. That's That complicates things a little bit. Not too bad, but it's fine. More annoying than anything. And then you destroy my, my cell night drum. Man, these enemies deserve to die. Go to hell. Shoot. Maybe I should use some of these cards that have Monomon's teaching. So, uh, overview of this run. I really like this. I really like this ac acolyte quirrell. I thought this was really cool with Monomon's teaching. With ca counting up enemies like that is for yeah counting up enemies for like free it's basically like a z a one newman snow you're getting that work yeah it's basically if you it's basically like a one z newman snow which is really useful for me, me for many such cases and i'll retake my screenshot with the five frenzy Alright, let's walk out of here. Zote, you did good here. I this unit seems really, really hard to get really hard to get to work without without Durian Charm. If it's like a absolute balancing act, very fitting for uh for what's meant to be the joke character of his games. But you get Durian Charm on this unit, and it's all of a sudden you got a nine turn count you got a ten attack two turn counter beast and you get like a known charm and it just makes everything crazy that was a very that was a that was a fun ride anyway that's gonna be this episode of wild Frost. if you guys enjoyed it make sure to like comment and or subscribe all of you out there have a nice day